What's up, knife people? Back again with more of these knives. Quick look at this little native compression lock uh, modded with some titanium scales in S30V. So I wanted to get into it's not an unboxing, but I wanted to um, get a couple knives, uh, kind of first impressions, uh, which are the Picaro Civivi and the Civivi Slip Joint Fracture. Um, just did the giveaway, 500 sub giveaway, and I wanted to just put these on, uh, you know, on film a little bit, kind of get you some specs. I think I might have done an unboxing, but I don't think I really went in depth on how they look, how they feel, uh, some of the strengths and weaknesses of them. So uh, I did get these both knives because to me they had some similarities. Um, both pretty long. Um, although one is hollow, hollow ground, and this one is, I think, flat. Uh, you can see the shape is pretty similar. Um, obviously smaller, smaller depth. Uh, G10 is different. This is coarse G10. It's a little bit finer G10. Um, obviously this is a slip joint. This is a liner lock. Um, so let's get into them one by one. This is the Picaro. You got a hollow ground, big probably four inch blade. You have a kind of thumb stud opening uh, for, you know, w with the whole cutout. Um, coarse G10 in gray, I think it comes in blue and black maybe. You got a nice deep carry clip, comes pretty far back. Liner lock, not drop shit action, but you can kind of shake it down. Lanyard hole, you can switch pocket clips left and right, uh, tip up. And again, it's got this unique kind of thumb stud. You know, if you don't like it, I'm assuming you could even grind that off and use it as a, a solid, just opening like that. But even with the thumb stud, you got good action, hasn't really broken in because it's brand new. It's going out to a winner in the 500 sub giveaway, if I hadn't mentioned that already. So the opening is good. You know, hope you guys like the little festive uh, Halloween background again pretty good action very long knife uh, be a very very good user in my opinion uh, I've heard you know a lot of people um, like it uh, a couple channels actually live by it so really cool knife so that's a quick little look at that the Picaro this is the slip joint I'll get into specs right now in comparisons this one's got a really nice drop point also, but stone washed. I forgot this one is coated. If I didn't mention that, I'm sure you guys can see that as, as you know, explanatory there. So that has a nice black coated, black washed blade. This one's a stone washed regular. Uh, this I believe is a flat ground from what I can tell. This is a slip joint. So it does have a half stop, uh, but like I mentioned before, grabbing this one, you want to be careful with that half stop, uh, unless you're, you know, going to grind some of that off there, but it does have a half stop. Spring is a little weak. Did notice that right away, but most of the force should be cutting down. So it'll be going up against the blade. So that's not too bad. Uh, for slip joints, I would call it maybe maybe about a four in strength and just walk and talk. So it's not bad. Um, let's see, pocket clip, same thing, deep carry, stone wash clip, got a lanyard, ho lanyard hole in the back. Uh, again, you can get a full grip on there. Uh, for most hands, even larger hands than mine, which, you know, I have large size hands, probably go up and have room still. Again, you just got to watch that soft spring. Uh, 
be noticed, you know, conscious of that. But you got a nice little groove there, choil to kind of hold your finger in. So really cool, really slender in the pocket. Nice and centered. That's the Picaro. Put that down here. Let's check the centering on this one. Just so you guys can see. So VV always pretty good with that. Barrel spacers. So just a quick little overview there. <clears throat> and as usual, all the Civivis both come with, you know, uh, cloth and stickers and a pouch. So let's take a quick look at it. Those are the two that we're talking about. So let's get you some more specs. Let's do this one first. Very long knife. Again, we're dealing here with one inch squares. So you're literally looking at nine inches here. That's the nine inch mark there. So you can see the blade is four inches with choil, about three and three quarters without that little cut off of the choil. You had a nice one, two, three, four, about five inch grip for the handle, coarse G10. Really cool knife. We'll get the weight in a second. Then we got the slip joint here, the fracture that's running just under eight inches by about seven and three quarters. You got a three and a half inch cutting, or three and a half inch probably blade, about three and a quarter, a little three and a third maybe of cutting. And handle, you're looking at about, about four and a quarter inches of just handle. So I'll put these down here. We'll put them there. And we'll get the weight after. Let's get some comparisons. We'll do some pair of three. We'll put that in the middle there. And both of these. Pair of three is about a seven and a half inch knife. Let's see where it falls in there. Pretty cool. That's the pair of three and a micarta that I put on. Uh, Spy 27, good steel, really like it. And uh, I've heard some people comment negative about it or saying it's kind of a, uh, you know, gimmick steel, but it's working out pretty good and it is stainless. I did a cut test and look, it cleaned out pretty good. So I like it somewhat like S30, S35 VN, something like that in between. That's the Delica, if I didn't mention that, the, I'm sorry, Endura Spider Co. Another kind of big knife. That'd be a good comparison for that Picaro. So again, that slender carry in Spider Co. fashion. Again, lockback, love it. Another lockback I've been fiddling with here is this cool little zombie nick that I got one arm jack it opens like that pretty cool and I kind of got it to a little close action really cool little knife anyways sidetrack and one more comparison we'll do the little native since we got it out here small little knife it's dwarfed by both so just the comparison there Man. I'll put these back so you know me, usual fashion, I'm all over the place. So what else can we do? Let's get the weight for these guys. Get that too. Get that on live. Oops. So Picaro weight, 4.0 ounces. I might've done it before, but for those that didn't get to see that video. And this one here is 2.9 for the fracture. 
So really cool knives is, you know, reason why I picked them for the giveaway pouch that I put them in. Uh, again, Civivi quality, uh, you know, quality, uh, quality control, fit and finish. Uh, really good knives in my opinion. They both serve their own little purpose. Um, if you want a big knife, four inch blade, nice big handle for those of you with big hands and no legal issues, Picaro, real cool knife. If you can get past the thumb stud, which does look a little weird, but um, you know, I'm sure the knife works, you know, will outdo that or override that part. Um, and again, here's the fracture, your slip joint, another slender carry, again, pretty big. So there's the action. And there you go. Those are the two Civivis um you know on display today hopefully they uh if you guys had any questions about them i answered some of them and uh that's it as always thank you guys for checking in check back for more knife stuff knife content giveaways uh, you know do the youtube thing check back it's usually i got a lot of stuff going on so y'all have a good halloween if i don't get to see you or talk to you and uh, that's it. So we be fracture. So we be Picaro. Go check them out. Have a good one. Catch you on the flip side.